Yo, good morning, Beardos. Uh, Big Daddy Beardo here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the game changer line. The soap, the bomb, the bomb, and the oil. Uh, I have did a review in the past of the soap, so I won't touch totally on it, but I'm going to kind of breeze through um, what I've talked about before with the soap. The soap is absolutely amazing. Um, it doesn't, uh, when they advertise and stuff like that, they don't say about detangling, but this is probably one of the best soaps for, you know, keeping the beard ta uh, detangled. Um, it's one of my personal favorite soaps. Obviously, this is my second, third bar I think I've had since it came out about a year ago. Um, the game changer for a reason. Um, when you're using this soap, you use half to a third of any of any other oil or product that you need to use um, on a regular basis. So, I mean, that's, that's above and beyond what you need to do. Um, it's a conditioning soap. Uh, most soaps are just a, a cleaning soap. This one, you can actually feel it's 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 softer right out the right out the shower. Dry it off and brush it through. You're ready to go. Um, it's got your shea butter, your coconut oil, your olive oil, and your almond oil, argon, green tea, jojoba, and his essential blend oil mix. Um, I personally love the uh, just the just the conditioning factor of it all in all. Um, this stuff definitely steps it up a notch from all the other beard soaps that are out there. Um, if you're looking for a great conditioning soap, it smells good. It's got your minty green tea oil, green tea scent. You can definitely pick up on the green tea. Um, I haven't used this one yet, just got it. Uh, not too long ago. But it's 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 definitely amazing. Uh, get in there. Touch on the bomb. The game changer bomb. You can see it's been used. Um, definitely, again, you can. Uh, it's it's got a minty smell to it. Um, your avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, coconut oil, and shea butter. All those stuff, all those ingredients are not mainly not only for the beard, but for the skin underneath, and that's where it's really important. Uh, you got to get in there down to the skin and start from the, the ground up you, you can't grow a beard unless you take care of the skin underneath so I mean all that stuff and it doesn't clog your pores a lot of a lot of products out there you'll see um, chemicals in them the chemicals will actually seep into the pores and, and block them sometimes I mean they'll put stuff in there you know to promote that it does not block your pores but over time you know we use this stuff daily you know you got to have something that'll go in soak in but not clog easy to come back out and I would definitely rate this as a softer bomb obviously it's 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 hot it's hot up in here so I mean I just take and, and with this stuff you only need a little bit a little goes a long way but you just kind of you know how to put it in but it, it, it goes on smooth. Little little residue always goes to the hair. Um, but the, the, the way I judge an oil or a balm anymore is how do your hands feel afterwards? Does it soak in right away? Are they greasy? Are they sticky? Um, this stuff... My hands are shiny, but you know what? They don't feel greasy. Like it, it, it soaks in, you know, and that shiny that I have on my hands, it, it transfers over into the beard. You do get that bright shine coming through. Um, the big one is the oil. This stuff is a little special. Um, it's a, a medium oil. Could be a little thicker as far as I'm concerned, but I like a heavier oil. Um, I've gone through a phase where all I use were bombs, and now I'm getting to the, to the point where all I use is oils. So I'm kind of 
kind of watching out the oils. And again, a um, little goes a long way. This stuff has, again, your argon, your jojoba, your chia oil, your rosehip oil, and flaxseed oil, um, castor oil, and his essential blend oil. But the uh, ingredient, calendula, calendula. I'm probably saying it wrong, and I'll probably be corrected, but um, that stuff was used um, back in the Civil War and World War I as an antiseptic. Um, it comes from like a marigold or a, I believe it was a marigold plant. And they used it on wounds to you know treat them, keep them clean. And that's what you want to do with this. You, know, you want to get it in there. And you want to get it down into the into the skin. You definitely want to get it into the skin and work its way out. Um, I don't have my boar's hair brush to use to get it all in there, but uh, it definitely again, like I said with before, with the the this stuff will leave a little bit of residue, and it is a. Uh, I'll say a greasier oil, but it soaks in kind of quickly. Like you can rub your hands together and work it in. It's kind of like a hand lotion then. Not only does it keep the skin under your face clean and soft, but your hands too. So when you're getting it in there, you know, I'll always just kind of rub my hands together, get it in, um, clean them up, but get in underneath there. Brush it down through. My biggest thing is getting up underneath this thing, um, but it's uh, one of my one of my favorite oils. Um, again, like I said, I'm getting back into using a lot more oils. I'm uh, a fan of heavier oils. Um, this one's a medium oil, a little bit thicker um, than obviously the light oils. Not quite as thick as something that's kind of syrupy. Um, I've seen a few products out there that are just kind of syrupy. And they work well in the wintertime, but, you know, right now, summer, for around this area in PA, you want to, I would say, a good medium oil. Lasts all day, don't have to reapply, keeps the skin and the hair conditioned. Um, you don't feel it drying out and getting brittle. And that's the main thing with the beard is keeping it soft so it does not get brittle. Um, but again, check them all out. Definitely the soap. The balm, any oil, www.soapalicious.com, little dashes around the A. Um, use the discount code Big Daddy Beardo, get you 10% off. And uh, PBO Proud, uh, I'll be checking in soon with a uh, review for the motor oil and um, motor oil oil. And also, what else do I have up there? I'll be doing a couple more. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Leave some comments, questions. You know, I'll do a live feed and do some questions, you know, if you guys want. Um, but, you know, check them out, soapalicious.com. Little dashes around the A. Um, Big Daddy Beardo, and I'll take, you, uh, take care. See you later. Beard on. Beard strong. Where's the button? Ah! Goodness.